Ah, let's get right into this next match. I am rehydrated. I am ready to go. Losers finals. Ham Yojo versus FX DFW's Lunchables. Oh, please, yes. Let's go. Are we really seeing the squirrel right now? It's, he's buying on the fact that there's uh, a lack of ma matchup knowledge. This is true. Um, there's not a lot of people who play who play Squirtle, so he's hoping to see if he can get something out of it. Okay, baited with water gun, and then instead uses for air dodge. Coming back on, that's a good stuff cleaning that area. See, here's my one thing though: is the fact that uh, you know we we saw uh, Wonder, who uh, you know is a solid player, but not you know, not really on the same level as Lunchables. Sure. Uh, Destroy uh, the the the, uh, the squirrel from Hamiojo. Yeah, but the the characters are also different. Uh, that and that I think I think it's part of it. Um, but there are things that you can do that can disrupt. Um, why did he go so high? Good di. Okay, yeah. Um, all right, cool. So. <laughs> there was I, I got a little mind blown for a second. All right, cool. But uh, so. The the options are still there, uh, and it's different characters, uh, so different options. But least the recoveries are also different, and because there's poor recovery against uh, this, particularly against swordsmen, you can see opportunities for Squirtle to you know finish off stocks that way. You Ooh. Did you notice that mix up there with the board suit? Love oh. it. Oh, that was if good that counter had hit, that would so hype. Oh, there it is. But it's not going to be enough. I don't know if he has a jump, though. Oh, there it is. He's doing it too early. He's got to do it a little bit later. And all right. Just like that. And he's got to make up for that 75%. And like you've been saying all night, man, this character is light. He is very light. So you have to be very careful. All Lunchables needs is a well-placed forward smash. Oh, or a gets counter. the counter that time. Actually, there you notice because he's at that lower percentages, he's crouch canceling the attacks, trying to find a way where he can land the down smash because that's going to send him straight up just like that. And because Squirtle is a lighter character, it'll kill earlier. Oh, here we go. Jumping in. Good stuff. Back to it. Oh, wow. Uh, he tried because he anticipated. Oh, oh, no. Oh. So it's like you're saying with the armor. Yes. It does prevent the knockback, but no, it does not prevent damage, and which is a big problem for Squirtle because he's so light. Oh, that is so unfortunate from Lunchables he, and SD there. He, he's closing the gap slowly but surely. He was at 75 last stock whenever he came back on. Now he was at 29, so it's getting a little bit better. Good not throw. anymore. Oh, Lunchables, he eager to... Really pile on the percentage here and make that distance insurmountable. That was a great charge B there. Oh, this is nuts. Oh, good. Playing really patiently, trying to bait out an attack from him, Yojo. Tick counterattacking with a grab. Tick throw set up. There's the throw, finishing him off with the forward smash. Oh. Counter. That was a great counter. Oh, wow. Bear. How is he going to finish though? Let's see. I can see a back air or oh because he's a little bit higher too high to necessarily crouch cancel and do the down smash. But uh you know the one thing that we've seen is Oh, never mind, forgot about the most obvious thing, throw to forward air. I mean, apologies, throw to forward smash. Hmm. I feel silly. I feel like a silly person right now. So we are in losers finals. We're gonna be seeing a character switch. Uh, I'm confident we're going to be seeing a character switch. Like, I know there isn't, like, that much matchup knowledge, sure. But, but like, it's not working out. And really. not only that, like... And he's got his rhythm going again. And Lunchables is always learning. He's always learning. And even if there isn't that much matchup knowledge, necessarily, you can, you can only gimmick someone so many times. Zill's in the building. Why did you play, homie? Why did you play, man? No, we saw him earlier. I called him out already. I told him, man, oh. you got to show up. Take all of our money. <laughs> Round two, and we see a character switch, but not from Ham Yojo as I expected. It's actually from uh, Lunchables. Interesting. I like the commitment. Uh, so he's going to see what he can keep doing. Uh, 
But bear in mind, this is a loser's final. Uh, this is such a cute song. Oh yeah, you're right, it is. <laughs> this song seems like something that that's like a deleted track from uh, from uh, Ponyo. Or, or not not Ponyo, but the tale of Princess Kaguya. Shout out to like the one person watching this that like got that reference. That movie's great. <laughs> Let's get right back into this match. We can already see Lunchables doing a great job piling on the percentage. Having a bit of difficulty here though, closing out the stock. Maybe he's gonna be fishing for a down, uh, maybe like a, like a down air here because I think that with the lightweight of of uh, it's enough. Squirtle, yeah. it's gonna be well not only that but also because Squirtle's a bit lighter, it's gonna be harder to convert with the uh, hook shot into uh, into. Um, a beat. Oh, That's that why he true. did the back from there. Yeah, that is true because he's a different kind of art, different kind of weight. So that's gonna kind of make things a little bit odd. Okay. Um, but it's, this man is sitting at the highest percentage we've seen him at. Look at that, 172. Oh, that's gonna do it easily. Just like that. We still do have uh, uh, Lunchables at quite a high percentage himself, though. But he's gonna be uh, probably using some of those. Oh. Oh, up there. Wow. Steady trying to pile on the percentage. Oh, he would look for a footstool. That would have been so sick. He was definitely looking for that footstool. Oh, oh no, that's that it. That's was it. That's so it. bad. Yeah, so. Hamblin, why would you do that, man? That was so bad. What, the old, what I'm he was sorry. <laughs> I know I'm just a commentator. I'm bad at this game, but why would that be a good idea? Only you're not You're not even Wolf, homie. It's not like if you hit him with the LB, you're going to get it back. <laughs> what were you thinking, bro? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my why god. Why would you do that? <laughs> why you do this? Yeah, why you do this? Yo, he's coming back. <laughs> fighting to get back on. Bombs are exploding everywhere. So how is Lunchables going to get back in here? Ooh. He's fight he gets exactly using that tether mechanic. That's fantastic. Yep. Controlling the space really well. Gets the grab. Finds the Boomerang. That's what he was hoping. For. That's what he was looking for. Would have yeah. been hype. Yeah, but it's not gonna. It's it's. There's so little recovery at the end. Like, uh, it's it's really tough. But um, all right. Oh, he's baiting for an attack. There it is. That's what he wanted. Not going to finish. That was a good tilt. Oh, barely clips in there. Oh, that oh, was yes. a beautiful setup with that bomb. Lunchables, one thing we can consistently expect from him is phenomenal projectile play. Yeah, absolutely. He does a great job of controlling space and threatening to control space, too. And not only that, starting combos with them. Are you noticing that this combo was also started with a projectile? Yeah. 68, 80, 94% tacked on? 108? I'm just going to stop calling out percentages because this man... He's wrecking. He's, he's not even a man yet. He's still a boy. He doesn't even have his driver's <laughs> oh my license. God. He's still going through puberty. <laughs> oh my god, that was that was a prepubescent finger flub there. A little bit. It's okay. We got squirt guns coming back on. Oh my goodness, that's going to be the stock. Okay, so I I think there he was like he was like facepalming like I cannot believe you went for that for that. <laughs> He's for that still thinking there. about it. I'm I'm still thinking about I it, know, man. You're like, still thinking about it. <laughs> Man, okay. I saw I saw someone someone in chat say that ain't inner gyms. Oh my god, dude. So <laughs> I I detect I, I think he has to swap characters. I think he has to swap back to Yoshi. I don't think he's doing it, homie. Are you serious, man? Ham Yojo committing. Wow. All right. Maybe it's just because he he feels unconfident with his Yoshi against uh, against Lunchables. You know that's a great point because uh, these guys have played quite a bit in the past. Yeah, and one of the things that uh, that definitely gave Ham Yojo a lot of mileage, like you said earlier, was the fact that whenever he played Yoshi, there weren't that many Yoshis in the scene, so there wasn't that much matchup knowledge. But because he's been able to bust out Yoshi for so long, people are on to his tricks. And so, busting out a character like this is uh, the mix-up that he needs on paper. But on it's not paper. really uh, working out for him here. In practice. He's already off to uh, quite the deficit. I'm not, I mean, I'm expecting him. Here's, here's the thing. Let's talk overall goal. Overall, I'm expecting Hamyoja to come into this tournament 
to learn as much as he can against some of the top players and see how they're dealing with uh, this character, and then come back and start wrecking shop, uh, you know, again next week because he made it this far to losers finals with Squirtle. Well, I mean, and a little bit of Yoshi. I mean, his Yoshi did help a lot. Though. Oh, quite like, a bit. Of course. Some of the clutch matches. But for the most part, I knew that that's, this is the character that he was using to at least in winners throughout the entire one. So we'll see. You do have a good point here, like because it's like he changed. I feel part of me feels like he changed to Yoshi against um, against uh, Wonder just to ensure that he'd be able to play against players like Lunchables exactly. of, of Lunchables caliber in tournament with his Squirtle because that would be the true testament and the true test of his character and not only that it would give him like you said before experience yes that's what's very important because it's the long game exactly that's what I'm getting at that's kind of KDJ-esque in a weird weird way the <laughs> <laughs> mm. forward air there Oh, tricky stuff here. Oh, digging this string of aerials right now. I, I, for a second, Amyojo had had a moment of uh, of greatness. Oh, flubs the edge guard. Oh, oh just kidding. Baby. Gets the stage spike. That was so sick. That was very unexpected there. But a great little string there. Ending with that up B. And we see Amyojo potentially on his last stock of this tournament. Oh, wow. A little string here. Pressure. Ooh, seal pressure was so real there. Okay, cool. Lunchables. Yep, neat Going little in. string. Uh, no. Oh, unfortunate there. Not quite able to get the sweet spot that he was looking for. And Lunchables will be able to have his rematch in Grand Finals against Oracle. Yes, sir.